guys, how's it going? This is the Video Gamer 64 slash Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 here. And today I wanted to tell all of you what I got recently from Friday all the way to now. <laughs> but first I'm going to talk about what I got today. I got about between 50 to 100 vinyl records added to my collection today. And uh, my aunt walked, how it happened, my aunt walked over to my house and she said, uh, she said I got you a box of records because she knows I listen to records, you know. And, uh, and I said, how much do you want for them? She said, you could just have them. I'm like, that sounds good to me. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not going to be showing all of them because it'd be taking too much, it'll be, it'll take too long me to film on like just one video but I might make a separate video sometime this week to film it and I got so many records that this whole container right here was l literally full I couldn't believe my eyes when I seen that whole container I was like damn so I was very excited to get all of them for free some of them were 35 RPMs and uh, some of them was 45 RPM records. But the main thing I wanted to talk to all of you about is the uh, machine that I got Friday. Well, it was plug and play machine. And I played a little bit of it Friday. And to me, it is my all time favorite plug and play that I've ever played. And I have played quite a few, such as Will of Fortune and more. And, uh,. When I seen the package, I knew I had to get it because I've been wanting it for a while. And when I seen it, I finally got it. I seen it, I knew I had to get it. <laughs> and that is the and I did it and I opened it already, so I didn't do an unboxing of this. I was going to wait a few days and do an unboxing of that after I did my Pac Man. And I'm like, nah, I better just open it and play with it and have a good time with it. So I practiced. Uh, my skills and arcade it, with it and um uh, didn't do too bad I mean didn't do too good in the arcade on with this one but I'm gonna practice more before I do it um like a review of each game and stuff but what I got is the 35 and 35th anniversary of Pac-Man and this obviously came out in 2015 and I was shocked, I'm shocked they still have it, especially at Walmart, because they usually don't keep stuff for a long, long time like this. But yeah, this came out in 2015, and I just got it in 2018. I love the packaging. And I, and I, and I also uh, love the sides of it. Like Pac-Man right here, and the Red Ghost. Red Ghost, I mean. And then right here, it shows all the games that comes with it right there and then it shows this right here on the side I freaking love it that is just freaking awesome and now on the back it says did you know the Pac-Man plug I mean the Pac-Man connect and play video game offers fans the chance to play the converted level 256 the original arcade game had 256 levels but due to a programming glitch level 256 was a half jumbo screen and only a few people in the world completed it now players can start at 255 and perfect their skills to become a master player and that's what it says in the back and it shows all the games that comes with it you know to me, some of my favorite arcade games is on here. You got Pac-Man right here. You got Galaga, which is probably my all-time favorite arcade game, Galaga, and uh, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man and stuff. Uh, anyway, Dig Dug. I'll just list them all right here. Pac-Man, Galaga, Exivius, Dig Dug, New Rally X, Pac-Man Pal, Super Pac-Man, Mappy, Pac-Man Plus, uh... Buzz Guardian, 
or something like that, however you pronounce it out, and Galaxy. And I'm going to open it up, show all of you what it looks like, uh, the machine. And there we go. It com it's like it comes just like this. And here's your on and off switch. And this is uh the let's see, B button and this is the A button. And uh this is where you like control Pac Man and stuff like that. And I love to hear of the sound of the clicking buttons. Like just listen to it. I love it. And in my opinion, it is one of the best arcade games that I've ever played. Uh, arcade plug and play. Well, to me, it is the very best, I meant to say. And, uh, I love the way it's shaped like Pac-Man. The, uh, it, would, it requires four AA batteries. And, uh, yeah, you guys, it costs, uh, like $20 if any of you want to get it. Uh, you can find it at Walmart. They had it at Toys R Us before Toys R Us went bankrupt, I think. But I know they got it at Walmart now. I don't know where else you could get it, but it, to me, the only place I recommend going to to find it is at Walmart. Or you could go online and get it for $16.65 or something like that. I don't know. But either way, I had a lot of fun playing this on my first try. In my opinion, I like this better than Will of Fortune and the other plug-and-play games that I've played in the past. And to me, this is the best plug-and-play I've ever played. And yes, that is my opinion on the 35th anniversary on the Pac-Man plug-and-play. And yes, guys, I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to my The Video Gamer 64 channel and my Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 channel on YouTube, Vidly, Metajolt to see more videos on here and this is and I just cracked my knuckle <laughs> and yes this is the video gamer 64 slash Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 signing off